The absentee voting begins tomorrow for the general election in November, and county auditors are already busy getting ready. Kevin Lance Lawrence Solik was in Canton today to see how preparations are going for Lincoln County. In a little less than two months, South Dakota voters will head to the polls to cast a ballot for who they'd like to see fill roles such as governor, U.S. senator, U.S. representative, and others. My opinion as an American citizen, it is our duty to vote. If you don't go out and vote and support the person you believe will do the best job, then you've got no right complaining on the way things are going. Uh, whether you like it or not. Some voters will opt to cast their choices early. In Lincoln County, 1,000 ballots will be mailed out tomorrow morning for absentee voters. We've already received the applications and then we have to hold on to them. They can't go out in the mail until the 23rd. Lincoln County Auditor Sherry Lund says there's a lot of work that goes into preparing for an election. We have to make sure that all the supplies are there. We have to call the precinct workers make sure our election school is set up, then we do some training with the state. On November 3rd, Lincoln County will host a mock election where the public can come and watch as they test the machines ahead of the real election on November 8th. So if you want to come and see how the machines run, um, you know, and all the safeguards that we've got for elections, we have secure elections. We have tested machines. Um, anything, any questions, anything that you have, Come down and talk to us about it. We are an open book. All to reassure you that your vote is safe and accounted for. It's not just something to do. It's something we should and need to do. In Canton, Lauren Solick, Kelloland News. And if you haven't registered to vote yet, you have until October 24th. Absentee ballots must be returned to county officials by November 7th.